Adobe just released a new version of Lightroom Classic and a new version of Lightroom CC. Lightroom Classic version 10 and Lightroom CC version 4. Both of these versions come with some key features, but the one I really want to talk about is probably the most important feature, and that is a new color grading system. So let's jump into it. Right here, we're in Lightroom CC just to start off. Now, both of these tools are pretty much the same, but I'm going to show you in Lightroom CC first because it's a little easier for me to just click around. So you go to your edit, edit panel, and there's a new box here called color grade. This has taken the place of split toning. So we're going to go over exactly how this works. Um, it used to be you just had your shadows and your highlights. Now they also add in the option to tone your midtones. Okay. So to start off, you have some buttons up here. The first one is your three way. It shows all three. You can uh, then um, bring up your shadows, your midtones, or your highlights, as well as a global. So the let's start with shadows. Um, in front of you right here, you see a picture of a gradient. It goes from pure black to pure white, all matters of gray in the middle. Now, if you uh, change your shadows in your color grading to, say, a blue, you'll notice that the everything below the halfway mark pretty much is now turning that shade of blue, but you don't lose your pure black. This color grading menu does not affect your pure black or your pure white, and I'll show you the pure white side in a second. So we'll go to the midtones next. Midtones are going to be anywhere in the center, and this is new. It used to be um, your shadows across to 50%, and then the highlights would take over from the next 50%. Now it looks like it's more in the 33% range because there's three of these. So let's make this just a bright green for contrast, and you'll see that it's affecting just the direct center of this gradient here, indicating it's only affecting the midtones, as it says. So highlights, we'll make it a red. Okay, and you see how the three colors are blended together, but you still have pure white. The white has not been completely affected. The white remains white, black remains black, everything in the middle is being changed. Uh, the cool thing we have about this here that we didn't have before is we have luminance in each of these. So I could up the luminance of my red where it's still going to be red no matter what, but it's going to get closer and closer to white. Now if I had to do this in the shadows, it's a little more prominent where I bring it down. You can see it's almost pure black on the left. Why is this important? Because you have one more level of control over the color of your in your images now based on just being able to change the luminance in each of your three color grading tones. This is a very similar system that they use in Adobe Premiere Pro, which is a system I've been really used to. So when they said this was coming out, I was extremely excited. Uh, so underneath now you also have a blending option, which will kind of get rid of your midtones the further you move that up the less midtone blending you're going to get so you, as you can see there's not much green left in this image because we moved our blending all the way up if you move it all the way down not really much happens you get a little more intensity in the midtones but it isn't as prominent as when you bring it all the way up you almost lose that midtone color completely so just keep that in mind Balance is the same as it was with split toning, where if you move it to the plus side, it's going to favor whatever you have in your highlights. If you move it to the negative side, it's going to favor your shadows. Global changes everything. So if you go global, it will overlap over your other tones. So let's try this on an actual image here. All right, so this is a photo I took while I was in upstate. Let's just go into our color grading right away. I'm going to start with the shadows. Let's bring them down to a little bit of blue. Okay, highlights, make them a little orange. In my midtones, it's, it's fall, bring them a little bit red. Okay, so as you see already, we went from, this was our original picture, which is kind of a natural light look, to now a little more of an autumn look. Um, and I could go ahead and bring my luminance up in the shadows to make it a little more faded, because I, uh, you know, it's a little bit more faded. I could bring my highlights up a little, little down a little bit so the sky looks a little more orange. And with those reds, it's going to bump those, the brightness of those reds up a little bit. And keep the blending in the center. Balance it maybe a little more towards orange. And there you have it. Simple stuff. You can color grade your whole image now. I mean, before, it would look like this because you would just be doing your shadows and your highlights. But with that mid-tone, you have so much more control. All right, so let me explain a few tricks here for actually using the color wheels. I'll go to a new image for this. So here's a little another landscape photo here. Um, say I wanted to make my mid-tones a little teal. And I found the right tone, but I need to lower or raise the saturation. If you hold your shift key, now, as you, here, bring this up a little, little larger for you. If you hold your shift key, 
you can now move that slider directly on the saturation line. Alternatively, you can choose a hue on the bottom, saturation, and luminance just with sliders. But some people may find it easier to use the wheel itself. Now if you hit uh, control, it will maintain your saturation and you could spin that, satur that hue all the way around. Last little trick is the Alt key. If you are moving this around, you can move it pretty quick. If you hold Alt, no matter how far I really move my mouse here, it moves much slower, much more precise. Which is good when you're really looking for that particular tone, you want to move it nice and slow. This type of color grading is such a huge upgrade to anybody who likes to fine tune their photography. It was my number one gripe when using Lightroom and using split toning. I, I, I always wanted to have that third wheel like I was used to having in Adobe Premiere when I do video editing and color grading videos. This was such a welcomed adaptation from Adobe to put this into Lightroom and to Lightroom Classic. And real quick, I'll show you the Lightroom Classic version is exactly the same. Um, you can change all your hues in the same manner, change your luminance in the same manner, your blending. So yeah, that's it for me. Um, I'm really excited to be using this tool in the future. Uh, if I missed anything, let me know. If you're upgrading from Lightroom Classic, you're going to need to update your catalogs. Make sure to back them up beforehand. If you're upgrading from Lightroom CC, don't worry about it. Go into your Creative Cloud and update your app. I'm really, really excited to use this. If you guys found this helpful, if you like this video, like it, subscribe, enjoy. Any relevant links uh, to this video will be posted down in the description. And thank you very much for watching.